What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I have another set of uh, sneak preview packs to open up for you guys. So yeah, I was able to pick up five more packs from sneak preview, and then also that means another one of the uh, promo card, which is uh, Contact Gate. This is the new Spatian card. Again, it's actually pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what the other support's going to be in the future for these. But uh, yeah, I went on ahead and picked up five more of these packs, and... Will we do as good as last time? Because seriously, I had some insane luck. I mean, we got two... Well, you guys check out the opening, okay? I, let's just say I did really, really well, okay? I, I don't want to spoil it. Hopefully you've already seen it. I'll have it, like, up at the top or whatever the video, however YouTube works on that. But let's go on ahead, open up these five packs, see what we get. If we can top that or, or what. I don't know. I might have used up all my good luck. Also, if you guys enjoy uh, different openings, and uh, also if you're looking forward to Cybernetic Horizon, be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a ton. And uh, let me know how you guys did sneak preview down in the comments. I guess it's uh, this upcoming Friday now. This set's actually going to be released. And, oh, we already got our Dragoonity. But yeah, the set will actually be released then, and uh, I did order a case. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Anyway, let's get to these cards, because I'm already seeing one of my favorite cards of the set, and that is Dragunity uh, Kus. I, I think is how you say his name. That's what's bad. It's one of my favorites. Can't say it right. I don't know. That's, it's a Cybernet video, you know? You know what you're getting into. But yeah, it's a pretty good card. It's a common. Then Universal Adapter. Zero Extra Link. And Pinpoint Landing. Wow. <laughs> Again, we're starting off with a Secret Rare. Okay. Uh, I, I see what, I, no, I don't see what's going on here, but I like what's going on here. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, this is the new, uh, it's a world premiere card, actually. It's a brand new card. Uh, we're getting it before Japan, of course, and it's like a drawing card after you, um, let's see, whenever a card is special summoned, you get to draw a card, basically, <laughs> is uh, kind of the gist of what it does. So it's actually really interesting. I don't know if it's going to come in handy in the future or what, but it is kind of one of those cards that's been on my radar. Like, I was wondering if it will come in handy or, or what's going to happen to it, you know? But that is really cool. I like the artwork, too. I think it's kind of funny. And, oh, we also, wow, Ruin is a uh, rare? I didn't know that. Really. Uh, Ruin Supreme Queen of Oblivion. Wow. I, I was kind of hoping she'd be a high rated card. I mean, because I like Ruin and Demise. I think they're awesome looking. So I was kind of wishing they'd be holographics, you know? But, oh, oh, well. Still cool either way. Link Devotee. Goki Tag Partner. Mythical in uh, Institution, excuse me, I can't read. And a uh, Center Frog. Oh yeah, we didn't get this last time. It's a new frog card. Pretty interesting, and I love the artwork too. That's just hilarious. But I can't believe we actually got a secret rare again. Uh, I guess we're not out of our luck yet. I'll, I'll put it that way. <laughs> we still have four more packs. That's why I like sneak preview. Seems like you usually have better luck. Like the packs are a little bit better than the ones whenever they're actually out. I don't know. That's what it seems like, though. And, again, I, I think I've seen this card before. Another one of our Dragoonity. Then Universal Adapter. Zero Extra Link. Uh, is everything in the same order so far? Uh, Crusadia Vanguard. Okay, I don't think that was in the last one. And Noble Knight Pelinor for our Super Rare. Pretty cool. It's one of the new Noble Knights. It's uh, an interesting one, but not really one of my favorites, unfortunately. Also, we have a crossbreed. This card looks pretty cool. Uh, the thing that bothers me about this card is I thought it was a new scrap card. So, I mean, I think it's an all right card, but I thought it was for scraps, you know, or something. And, yeah, I, I was thinking they got some new support. So I was a little bit hyped when I first saw it, I remember, in the OCG, and didn't turn out that way. Oh, well. They tricked me. <laughs> also, we have Labelle Man. Let's see, World Legacy's Mind Meld and Link Devotee. Yeah, Pelinor's pretty good, too. It's one of those that if you do run it, you might just want to have one of them. I mean, the other one is the better one. Custon, or however you say his name. Yeah, he, he's the better one. He's also super rare. All right. Still have plenty of packs left. I hope I can get the... Either the, the uh, Dragoonity Synchro, which is Ascalon, or, of course, the Noble Knight XC Monsters in this. Like I said, this set was made for me. Noble Knights, Dragoonities... Throw in some Elemental Heroes, I still say, and it would be my favorite set ever. Crusadia Vanguard, Goki uh, Retrainer, Dealer's Choice, and, okay, we might have something. And yeah, I did get it. I got the Noble Knight. I called it, technically, right? Oh, are we going to count it? Come on. <laughs> that is awesome, though. I, I wanted one of these, obviously. Again, I mean, even if they were the worst cards ever, I'd want to get them because they're Noble Knights. I'll, I'll be honest. But this card is good. I, I will say that. I mean, I think people always expect Noble Knights to come up with a card 
basically besides their link monsters, they're just absolutely insane, and uh, that's not usually how they work, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, you can see what happens to their link monster. Now Gokis have taken it away, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a good XC monster for them, and uh, one I'm looking forward to trying out. I feel like it's kind of a one of, but I might run two of them. I I'm still in testing on that, so that is awesome, and that is the deck profile I'm planning to do uh, whenever I get everything, which more than likely be after next Friday because I'm buying a case, so I should get everything by then. I hope so. But there we go. That is really cool. At least we're closer. Then Renewal of the World. Uh, Metaphys uh, Decoy Dragon. There you are. I thought it was a common this set. That was another card I've, I'm wanting too. I want to do that profile on Metaphys cards. Their, their two new cards are commons, and this first one I've gotten so far. Must be a little tough to get. Ballista Squad. Uh, Crusadia uh, Regelix. Hmm, I, I didn't know he was common. Interesting. And Divine Serpent, yeah. See, so yeah, we've opened up, I guess, technically like 13 packs all together, and uh, there's still plenty of cards. I'm like, really? Is that rarity? <laughs> I, I still haven't memorized like the all the rarities yet. Man, this I'm having a good time with this neat preview so far. Let's see. Um, okay, uh, we have Retrainer, Dealer's Choice, Crusadia Draco, Metaphys Ascension. There you go. And, uh, Vorticular, uh, Drum Gone? Is that how you say that? Yeah, I guess Drum because that ammo drum on him. That's pretty cool, so, yeah, he's like a new, uh, uh, bullet card or whatever. So, pretty interesting. Then we also have the Deep Grave. Also Crusadia, uh, Leonis. Then Sword of Poison and Cycle of the World, which is, yeah, that's the ritual spell. Pretty interesting. And, okay, we're down to the last pack, which my camera is almost out of memory as well. So, what can we end with? Let's see. That's why I'm looking concerned at the camera. I'm like, ah, I only have a couple of minutes left. Let's get to it then. All right, Crusadia Draco, Metaphys Ascension, Goki Moon Assault. Is the next one the hollow? Yeah, it is. Okay, and we have uh, the new Dark Elemental Lord, which is uh, Umbram... Uh, Umbra Mirage, the Elemental Lord. At least I say that. So that's pretty cool. Last time we got the light one, now we actually have a dark one for them, which is obviously pretty interesting to see that. Then, of course, after that, we have Interrupt uh, Resistor for our rare, Cybernetic Overflow, Turning of the World, uh, Cluster Congestor, and Terrifying Toddler of Torment. Yes, that is actually a Yu-Gi-Oh card's name. I, I did not just, you know, make that appear. That's a real card name. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Had some amazing luck with this, too. I mean, seriously, we start off with a Secret Rare. I also get the Noble Attic Sea Monster. That's amazing. I mean, seriously, out of 15 packs, I've been able to get, what was it? I guess two Ultra Rares. And three secret rares. And good secret rares at that, too. So, I can't believe it. Probably my best sneak preview that I've ever had out of any set. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. And also, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys had good luck sneak preview as well. I hope you guys were able to get whatever cards you're looking for. And uh, also, tell me what cards you're looking for. I mean, for me, honestly, a lot of the main cards I want are some of the cheaper rarity ones. Like I said, I want, like, the Metaphys cards. Noble Knights, they're not too bad on rarity. Uh, Dragoonies, a lot of them are really easy to get, too. So... You know, or maybe you're one of the unlucky ones that really want to get the danger cards. And uh, they have a couple of secret rares, but so far I'm getting closer to building them. So <laughs> I'm pretty happy. But uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all those videos. Also, like I said, a lot of that profile, so subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Ring that bell, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.